is time. It is time to brew your best beer. The 2017 SJ Poor Challenge Gold Sponsors. Bouncer, keeping the dregs out with their inline filter for home brewers. The Brew Bag, simply the best way to brew great beer in your home. Yakima Valley Hops, with over 140 hop varieties available. Omega Yeast Labs, supplying home brewers with high quality yeast. And a special thanks to our silver sponsor, BrewTubers Online Brewers Club. Clements Homebrew coming at you with another 2017 SJ Port Challenge beer review round one. And uh, here we go, this one here, this is the 42U79R22F. And uh, this one is a grapefruit IPA, 3Cs grapefruit IPA. 6.5% ABV, 56 IBUs. I like it, that's created, that's a different, a little different bend on the whole thing. Let's get her cracked open. I like to pour pretty consistently between all of these. Don't think that was bottle condition, but yeah, you know, you just never know. And there were some bubbles rising up. They've kind of faded, but you can see that uh, uh, it's just got a thin film on it. There's really not, not anything in terms of a head. It went right to a ring pretty quickly. It's a nice light color. So it's kind of a, a golden to amber in color. A little bit of orange shoes on there. And uh, let's get the nose. Okay, I'm getting the light caramel. I'm not really getting, I, I pour too much. I can't really give it a swirl like I usually do, but I'm not really getting a lot of the grapefruit. So there's some fresh grapefruit, like the juice, and I'm not getting a lot of hop grapefruit on it, uh, on the nose, it's interesting. I am getting, like I say, that light caramel. It, it's just a, it sounds, it feels like a, a little bit lighter beer. Um, it's got a nice scent, it's a pleasing scent, a nice malty character. So we're going to just dive in with a taste. Cheers. I get a little bit of flavor. I get really lightly. I get some of that grapefruit character, but very light. Just hints of the caramel. And it's really interesting because it just, it's like the palate for a moment just washes clean. Like, like I'm tasting water, almost nothing. And then it comes back with this light bitter character from which I am getting a bit of the centennial and I'm getting a little bit of a grapefruit rind character. I'm gonna let this warm up a little bit. I'm gonna take some notes and I'll be back. So this is one of those beers that uh, I'm glad I took time with and, and that's something I generally do. The, the nose, the grapefruit character has built on this as it's warmed up, which is, which is wonderful. The taste on it's just very clean. It's it's much lighter taste to it than 6.5% ABV. You you would think this was more like in the 4.5 to 5.5 range. You really wouldn't think it it had that uh, 6.5 level. The grapefruit's not as strong as you would hope. You, you it does leave you wanting when it mentions grapefruit, um, particularly considering you you hope to get some grapefruit as it is from Cascade and potentially from the Columbus as well. And then if they're putting fresh grapefruit in, which this implies, you would, you'd think you'd get a lot more. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, but the palate on this, as I said, is very clean. It's easy to drink. It has a medium to light carbonation, but I think it's a very well balanced. It's a medium to light mouthfeel, which I think is appropriate again. Um, you know, I, I, and I think it just drinks very easy. It's clean. There's no apparent flaws whatsoever in the brewing of this beer. Um, so I think it's just a very well-made beer. Yeah, given the, the uh, constraints of this particular competition on this round, I think this is a, a pretty well-crafted beer overall. I think uh, this person did a good job. So here they are again. This was the uh, 42U79R22F. It's a, uh, a grapefruit IPA. It's a pretty nice job, I would say. More grapefruit next time. Uh, but thank you much. Cheers.